you say we have a look at McFarlane's Movie Maniacs Psycho. It's just Norman Bates. You know, this is a, a really cool. I've only done one review, other review on the Movie Maniacs line, is because I only have one other figure, and that is the Fly. But there's our lineup at this time, which was what year? 1999. The Crow, which I don't care for. Halloween, I like to keep my eyes open. Four, Pride of Chucky, don't care for. Child's Play, don't care for. And the Pumpkin Head, I would like to score. But Scream, don't care for. Maybe you like to find that Ozzy Osbourne. And some of those Sleepy Hollow figures, particularly the Headless Horseman. Yeah, so what do you say? We crack old Norman open here and have a really close look. All right. Let's have a look at this little illustration here. Heads will roll in November. That looks like a really cool figure. Hey, baby, do I make you Randy? Do I? Says Austin Powers. Yazzie looks really nice. And of course, the spawn always look nice. And that's another cool looking figure. Anyway, move right along. As with the fly that I previously reviewed, you come with this movie poster inside this. It's a it's a nice stand, but it's generic. It's exactly the same as the uh, the fly. The only thing that's changed is uh, the movie poster itself. It says Norman Bates is coming home. And, oops, there goes Norman. You get his mother's wig, or his wig, to pre so he can pretend like he is his mother. Really cool butcher knife, painted well. This is the uh, weapon that did Janet Lee in, the shower. And there's Norman. I must say... That is a pretty good likeness. Let me get in the focus there. To uh, Tony Perkins, it really is. And this dress is just painted in polka dot, a dark blue with a lighter polka dot pattern all over the place. Nondescript, just all over the place. Let me see if I can get a real close look at this face here. That is a really good likeness to Mr. Perkins himself. Yes. Now focus in. There you are. My camera's a little slow on the focus. I got some rubbish here. Maybe from inside the pack. Maybe something heavy sitting on the package like so. Because there is some paint rub here. And something gnarly there as well. But anyway, who am I going to complain to? Figure's almost 20 years old. So let's go through his articulation. Again, don't expect much. This is a, a McFarlane toy. But that's not the idea of a McFarlane toy. These were truly adult collectibles, not meant to be played with by children. So, this head will go 360 degree around, and that is it. So, you have anything in the shoulders? Uh, actually, no. Not in that shoulder. In this shoulder, yes. This shoulder? I can't believe. Oh, that one doesn't do anything. But at the elbow here, you have a swivel. 
and the hands will rotate on both sides and again you have mo motion in this shoulder and nothing in this elbow nothing in this shoulder but a motion in this elbow both wrists do swivel you have a swivel in the waist but you kind of want to be careful not to move this otherwise the the gown lines will not light up, line up and it'll look goofy kind of like that goofy goofy so pointless you have the sculpt beneath the dress with a bent leg so if the foot's out like that it looks fine but if the foot is back like that you have to wonder what's going on with his leg at that point so you're kind of stuck having his foot out like so but oh, so there's the bottom then uh that will swivel as well and uh stands pretty good even on the yoga mat which i have trouble with things standing on the yoga mat even with large feet action figures with large feet I like to fall over on this quarter inch yoga mat and he's standing pretty good so i must say so what do you say we slide his knife in the oil as you can see there's just a little hole there to accommodate the thin little handle shove that all the way up in there like so and it really does fit like a glove no pun intended and let's put his mother's hair on let's see if we can get this to where it actually well that's about all you're gonna get weirdo Have a look here. Looks like he's wearing a walnut case. <laughs> he's definitely cosplaying. But yeah, freaky nonetheless. It actually makes it more freaky that it doesn't look like real hair. You know? So yeah. Let's get this leg turned here. Get him in focus there. Very creepy. I'm going to take the camera off and get a better shot here. It is a cool looking figure. Let's see if we can do something with that left arm to make it look. Oh, he definitely looks very angry at this point, very intense. But uh, let's move him around a bit. So we raised his knife a little bit and uh, lowered his left arm at the shoulder and turned his fingers downward, giving him a very, very angry violent look about him but capturing the lack of emotion in his face I must say they did a really good job definitely psycho schizophrenic he's about ready to do all that damage with that knife and he has zero emotion on his face as he's doing it good job and there he goes just so you know when I have these guys displayed on a glass shelf, they don't always fall over. It's it's this very soft quarter inch yoga mat. So they become springy. And the slightest movement of the table could just send these guys wavering over. So that's that. Anyway, that's been my look at the McFarland's Movie Maniacs. Anthony Perkins Psycho dressed up as his mother with his nasty butcher uh, butchering knife and his complete lack of emotion. Psychologist's dream, I guess. Anyway, Holland Wolf out.